This video is brought to you by BossRootin.com with big sales on now and PowerPerformanceProducts.com where you can receive $10 off your purchase of Body Storm and Body Effects, the best pre-workout supplements on the market. I'm Steve Seiler from Orem, Utah, um, Ultimate Fighter Season 14. Uh, I'm fighting Josh Clopton Saturday night at the Ultimate Fighter 14 finale. Finding Josh, I, I know, you know, I figure he's more of a wrestler training with Melendez and, you know, a bunch of tough scrappers out there in San Francisco. Uh, for the most part, I want to keep it standing. Uh, I look tall, lanky, I have the reach on him. You know, I'm going to want to keep, keep my distance and keep punching, but if it, if it goes to the ground, most of my wins are by submission. I got 14 of my 19 win by submission, so I'm going to be comfortable no matter where this fight goes. Having, you know, my friend Jorge here, training here at Juan Fight Center, uh, you know, it gives me a place to train, give me a place to, you know, keep crisp on everything I'm doing. So, you know, having him around has been the best thing for me. Uh, you know, I went out to his fight out in New Orleans and was able there to be there and support him. So, you know, I'm just happy he's able to be out here and support me for this fight coming up. The six weeks, you know, at the time, it felt horrible. You know, it, like you, you just wanted, you can't, couldn't wait to go home just because everything felt like the worst thing in the world. But looking back at it, I mean, you got any food you wanted, you got to meet all these great people. It really wasn't that bad, Just you just miss your family, your friends, anything on the outside world, and it just felt worse at the time than it really was. You know, looking back at it, I wish I enjoyed it more than I did. I, I think I slept majority of the season. So, uh, you know, if I could do it all over again, I would in a heartbeat. And, uh, you know, this next coming few seasons, you know, you're going to be on there for 13 weeks. So. Uh, just do your best to enjoy those. <laughs> I, I still talk to almost everyone every now and then. You know, I'll talk to them on, you, you got Facebook, so I hit them up on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll call people on occasion, you know, Marcus Brimage, uh, Brian Carraway, Dustin Neese. You know, I, there's still people I still talk to to this day. Uh, being down here, you know, when we all got down here, though, it was great to have a reunion with everybody and actually be able to bond with all of them all over again. Uh, first, we'll go with the bantamweight between uh, TJ Dillashaw and John Dodson. You know, little John's a talented guy. He's probably one of my favorite guys that's actually on my team. Uh, tough as nails, really good ground game, quick stand up. I just think TJ is a little strong for him. TJ being a legit 35er, Dodson being a 25er. I think TJ is going to be able to wrestle him, take him down, and control him for the most part, and win, uh, eke out a decision. Uh, this, the featherweight uh, finale with uh, Diego and Dennis, you know, obviously D uh, Diego knocked me out, so I'm actually kind of pulling for him, you know, just don't want to lose to someone who didn't win at all. But uh, re reality, I think Diego has a better stand-up, the better ground game, and uh, I think he should finish Dennis early in the first round. I feel I was, you know, the best guy on the show, if not, the, you know, I mean, I did lose to Diego, but me and Diego were the top two easily. So uh, I want to be able to you know, stick in the UFC, keep on winning, and, uh, you know, just see, I, I eventually want to get up to that title shot, but, you know, I'm going to take my time, relax, and, you know, just take it one fight at a time. Wrestling is definitely my weak point. Uh, I mean, I'm working on it every day. We got great wrestlers over at the pit, ele pit elevator that I train at over in Orem, Utah. We got Court McGee, Ramsey Nidrum, uh, Jonathan Brookins comes out, Ryan Martinez, who fights over in Bellator. So we got great wrestlers down there to help me out with my, wrest my wrestling. Um, also, we got great people helping me with my stand up and, you know, make me be able to tuck my chin so that Diego accident doesn't happen again. I just want to say uh, thanks for Juan Fight Team for letting me come here and train. Uh, everyone out from the Pale Elevated Fight Team, and uh, thanks for ha having me for this interview. Godspeed and party on.